My number one favorite Super Bowl halftime performance of all time is. Nobody better come at me too. I love all y'all, okay? Everybody has great performances. I just, I was asked to pick my top three. Calm down. It's finally Super Bowl time. I know you're excited, I'm excited. It's that massive event, you know, that concert. Surrounded by amazing ads with a bit of sports balls sprinkled in there, just kidding. I'm so excited. February 13th on NBC, that's right. This year I'm actually very in sports ball. I've been watching, there have been a lot of great games. Like OT, it's been really great. And a lot of moments when you're like, what are you doing? Who was that pass thrown to? Like, there's been a lot of that too. I'm not gonna say names, that would be rude. Um, but this year's halftime show sounds like it's going to be huge. I love Snoop Dogg, I love Eminem, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, Dr. Dre. Burr, burr, burr. Obviously it's super cool too because, you know, I live in LA right now and it's really cool for LA because the Rams are in it. I, I will say people are so stoked about this halftime show. And the halftime show every year is pretty spectacular no matter who's doing it. So today I'm going to count down my top three favorite Super Bowl halftime performances of all time. So my third favorite Super Bowl halftime performance is That's my drum roll. Bruno Mars, that was in 2014. He was spectacular. He's such a great vocalist. He's such a great entertainer. Like, I mean, the cool thing about Bruno Mars too is you always expect, like he's always got the costumes down. He always looks like shiny and awesome. And his band is always like put together. Everything. It's just a full, show like what I thought he was amazing at is that for the majority of it I feel like people try to cover so much ground when they do the show I thought it was really smart he and his band kind of kept it in one place for a minute he stepped off for a minute to sing a beautiful ballad moment but then he came back and Red Hot Chili Peppers came in it was amazing I feel like he's one of the smartest plays for a Super Bowl halftime show it's you can be an amazing artist but it's maybe not the gig for you it's a hard play and I feel like he's one of those entertainers that literally is perfect for that. I didn't even know this, but actually Bruno was like, I think he was like 28 when he performed. I think he's the youngest person ever to perform the halftime show. So brr, 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 Bruno Mars, you were already awesome, but now you're like the awesome young person too. Let's <laughs> do it. I don't know what I just said there. <laughs> I just thought it was so well done. The songs were great. His band is incredible. He was one of my favorite performances for the Super Bowl ever. So. My second favorite Super Bowl halftime performance is, drumroll please. Um, anyone who has a top three Super Bowl halftime performance like list and doesn't have the J-Lo Shakira moment in there is lying to themselves. Also, Shakira and J-Lo, they have the highest watch like performance of the halftime show ever on YouTube. Like that's crazy. Oh, not shocking, let's be real. It was incredible. I mean, both of those women, I love in general, just separately as, as artists, but I thought they complemented each other well. While they have similarities, they're so different as well. And they brought something, they brought a different kind of fire. They're both passionate and I love that. And it was just the dancing, the costumes, the attitude, like it was so, like as a woman watching that, it was so, bold and beautiful and strong and I loved it. One of my favorite parts of their performance was, you know, they embraced the singer songwriter in themselves where literally they're singing in Spanish, they're singing in English. It was like celebrating Latin culture. They embraced um, the sexuality, the sensuality in themselves. They were very bold, powerful, passionate women. And I love that that was celebrated. It was very tastefully done. It was about women in that moment. And I thought it was really cool at the Super Bowl. And that's the power of Shakira and JLo. I would expect nothing less. I feel like they should take this show to like Vegas. I know that, I know uh, JLo's done Vegas, but I just mean <laughs> that show together would be incredible. I bet dance classes went up just everywhere after that performance. People were like, you know what I'm gonna learn? I'm gonna learn salsa, I'm gonna learn how to dance. I bet people just, they were lining up thinking they could possibly look like that. You can't. <laughs> it was one of my favorite performances ever, not just for the halftime show. My number one, um, I'm gonna pick up this photo because I was told to and I'm gonna, oh, <laughs> okay. Wait, I didn't know this was gonna happen, but this is really funny because I did sing the national anthem for the Super Bowl and what they don't tell you is, I don't know, I don't even know how many times I've sang the national anthem, okay? And I know the words, but when 
the audience is singing it with you, it's usually in a delay and it kind of messes with you. And so I was focused, very focused. And they're like, don't worry, the words will be on the screen. What they didn't tell me is that the words come up when the audience is singing it. So you have already sung that line and then it appears. That's how it goes the whole time. And so I was like closing my eyes and like, oh my God, because all the wrong words were up in front of me. It was really funny. And I aerated the field with my stilettos on the way out. So that was fun too. People are always looking like, do you know the words? How are you gonna mess it up? How are you gonna do it? Like everybody's, and everybody's always compared to Miss Whitney, which no one should be compared to her because she's the ultimate. So no one can achieve that. That was my favorite as well. My number one favorite Super Bowl halftime performance of all time is. Who doesn't say Prince? Give me one person who doesn't say Prince. God agreed with me when he had it rain during Purple Rain. It was the most incredible. He's, he was such an amazing artist. It was so incredible. The, one of the smartest plays I thought he did was, yes, he did songs that we love of his, but he also covered songs. He knew that the moment was more than about him. It was about everyone celebrating together, having a good time. It was about having a good show. He wanted to sing songs, obviously, that people knew, too, that they were singing along with. He's, he was just so smart about a performance in general. And God, his voice was incredible. His playing was incredible. Oh my God, I remember the girls dancing and singing with him. Woo, they were incredible. It was, and, and literally, Jesus agreed. He shined down upon and just made it rain during Purple Rain. You cue the rain during Purple Rain? <laughs> what? It was incredible. To get a whole audience to sing an ooh, they weren't even singing like the words. They didn't even need words. They just had vibe. Ooh. Yep, the whole audience was singing. It was so cool. He was like, I don't need my mic. Everybody knows this. It was such a magic moment. And then he had the sheet and a silhou silhouette and he was like playing and it was so Prince and it was so cool. And if you don't believe me, just YouTube and watch it again. You're welcome in advance for this because it was awesome to watch again. It's so cool. Anyway, it was that was my all time favorite. I feel like that's probably everyone's favorite. It's hard to top him, so. Okay, here's the thing. Good luck to the Rams, I guess in the Bengals as well, but more the Rams because, well, I live here, y'all. You go home with the one you came with. I will actually be at the game, so I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna be there at the Super Bowl cheering the Rams on. I'm gonna have, um, my daughter has one of those foam things with the Ram, I'm gonna wear it. I wanna look that kinda cool. <laughs> You're welcome. Let me know in the comments below who your favorite halftime show was and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos of me giving you my opinions on things that you might not agree with, but I don't care. <laughs>